Well, the tropics are stirring, but not quite as busy as normal. Let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins, who is tracking the tropics right now. Hey, A Bobby. A couple of waves, Emerald. Yeah, yesterday we had four. Today, there's only two. Really, this is the only one that we're even watching. Does have an 80% chance for developing, but I, let me get this out of the way. It's not going to affect us. At least that's the way it looks now. We'll likely recurve. Guys, we're thousands of miles away over here, over a thousand miles away, right? So it's not it's not our storm, but it may develop. It may actually get a name. 80% chance by the end of this work week. 40% chance that that wave develops although it won't last long even if it does. So that's way out there in the eastern Atlantic. This is the one we're looking at now. Looks uh, okay today. It's not terrible, but sheer to the north, sheer to the south, not near the center, so that's good, although there is some on the south side there. But I do expect it to have some dry air on along with that shear. It has to get up into this area here, northeast of the islands, northeast of St. Martin. And the models do that. They take it to the north and the west. If it can hold together and get there, it's in this area here as it starts to recurve that it looks like it wants to strengthen. That would be towards the end of this week, probably be closer to this weekend, which means we're going to make it through August without a named storm the whole way through the month during the La Nina year when we should have more storms. Uh, that's the other wave, as I mentioned. This thing may affect the Cape Verde Islands, but just as an unorganized system, if it does develop, it will be short-lived and fall apart out there in the eastern Atlantic.